Liz. Um, I work for Pyrene Adventures and I'm showing you how to make barnitsa, which is a traditional Bulgarian dish. It's basically goat's cheese um, that's swirled and wrapped in a lovely fine phyllo pastry with an egg type of a mixture. Um, and it's, it's extremely tasty and very quick to make. Now when, when we're here in Bulgaria we get something called duetti, which is a phyllo pastry. You can get that from most supermarkets in the UK. Okay, so I'll put that to one side. And it comes in like a plastic sheet. All you do is roll this out. And what we're going to do now, after I've washed my hands, you're going to put um, different types of fat on top of it to make it nice and tasty, to make it not so dry. So to start with, I've got margarine because I can't get butter here because it's quite a bit expensive. So I've got a tub of margarine. I, I could put it onto a plate. I'm just going to take it out of the container, pull a little bit out and just very quickly lay it on top of the phyllo pastry. Okay, so that's one sheet there. Then I take that sheet and I just move that to that side there. Get another sheet and put some margarine on. I can have this made and cooked in 15 minutes. And uh, my partner, Rukash, and myself often have this for breakfast. Okay, so I've got my two sheets made there. Then I get Cyrene, which is a little white cheese. You can see by the container. Do you want to come around this side? Yeah. Okay. Saying Krave Krave, Krave Cyrene, which is cow cheese. I don't like goat's cheese and neither does Ukash, so we, we go for Krava, which is cow's cheese. And all you do is take a little bit of this cheese and crumble it up. I've seen people chop it up, they just make things a little too difficult for themselves. Okay, so I've crumbled it up and then I get the next sheet that I buttered. Okay, and I lay it on top and then I get some more cheese and crumble it here and all it does is it it just gives a um, you know a better flavor of cheese that spreads it out a little bit now you can put anything else with it we quite often have smoked salmon you know we put smoked salmon on any leftover meats or any vegetables that we've got in the fridge at the moment I've got some minced meat that they've got here and I've mixed mustard in with that this is the minced meat any mincemeat will do from your butchers. In Bulgaria, we're using this mincemeat. Okay. So you take a little bit of the mincemeat, and all you're doing is you're dobbing a little bit here. Now I just got mincemeat, put a little bit of English mustard in, and I got some spices that I use for making barbecue sauce and other things, and I've just sprinkled them with that item. Okay, so. Hopefully that'll be quite nice and tasty. Once I've done that, I take the two edges and I roll them together. Okay. So nice tight little rolls. The tighter the roll, the prettier it looks. And then I get a good old fashioned enameled tin dish. You might have seen these with your grandma. We bought these for taking people up in the mountains because they're lightweight and they're very durable, fantastic for making barnets. So all you do is take your little roll and then you start from the centre of the tin, you roll round, okay, make it as tight and pretty as you, as you can there and then we start the whole process again. So I need to wash my fingers because I've been touching me. And I have my towel here and I start all over again. Okay, a little bit of fat, put it onto the barnitza. Or should I say the phyllo pastry? Move that to one side.
Now it's whatever you can actually get locally that you have in the fridge. I've actually also got some dill. Okay, so I'm just going to chop this dill up a little bit. I could put garlic in there. As you can see, we've got a garlic um, tied up from the local market. You can take whatever you want to put in there. This time I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of dill on. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go and get some more cheese again. Crumble the cheese up. Okay, get the next sheet again, lay it on top. This has already been buttered. Take some more sirene. Sirene is it's a bit like feta cheese. And I will be putting on the internet how to actually make your own sirene cheese. It's very, very simple to do. So you don't need to pay an excessive amount of money that you would do for feta. Okay. So again, I go for the meat again. Put little blobs of meat on. Take these sheets. Okay. Roll them again nice and tight. Okay, and continue to go around this item. ready we've sprinkled a little bit of dill on top you can do other things you can put a garlic on if you want to zoom in for me there Ukash all I've done is I've crushed that garlic quickest way to actually unpeel garlic is not mess about peeling it is to just crush it with your knife because I'm going to chop this up very finely and then all I do is I just peel off the outer okay there we go and then I can sprinkle that on top I'm going to do two I like a lot of garlic. If you don't want too garlicky, then don't put as many on. Okay. Move those bits to the side. Okay. And again, this is garlic that comes out of the gardens in Bulgaria. Because in Bulgaria, people grow a lot of their own items. If you're chopping things up like this, remember, keep your fingers tucked in and then you won't take your finger ends off. This doesn't look very good with the bread. I shouldn't say that, that should I? Anyway. Okay, so get your little garlic bits, sprinkle those on top. Okay. Quite happy with all of this. Right. Now I've got one egg in here. I've poured a little bit of milk in. It's just a bit less than 200 milligrams, giving it a good whisk up. And then all I do is I pour it nicely over the top. And it will give it that lovely goldeny brown colour that I'll show you later. And all of the liquid is absorbed by the varnitsa. Okay. So I take this and I put it into the oven. I've preheated the oven to just a little bit below 200. I've got an electric oven and I'm putting it in the top oven only. Okay. Put it in there for maybe 10 minutes. I'll come and check it. And then I'll, I'll come back again maybe in 15 minutes if it's not actually gone a nice golden brown colour. And it doesn't want to be wobbly, it should be in a nicely set mixture for you. Okay, thank you. Okay, well while we've been waiting for um, the bannitsa to cook, I'll put it in the oven ready for us. I just want to go through the ingredients with you, just to remind you what you'll need. Okay. First of all, you'll need a packet of phyllo pastry. You'll also need white crumbly cheese like sirene, like feta, anything like that. And again, if you look on YouTube, you'll find um, another one of my items on how to make um, feta cheese or 
you'll also need some type of meat. Don't forget, you don't just have to have mince. We particularly like smoked salmon. You only need ever such a small amount of it to give it a lot of flavor. Um, any type of salami. We often put in smoked chicken as well. That's really nice with it. You'll also need margarine or butter. If you can get butter, that's better. Margarine will do fine. Egg, one egg at room temperature. Any seasonings that you might want. So you need a fork for whisking your egg. And you'll also need a little bit of milk to add that to 200 millilitres. You can also add things like um, um, garlic. So I was thinking of the Bulgarian word then and any herbs you like, these are local ones, fennel, dill, whatever you can get your hands on, parsley. Okay, and just chop that up and put that in as well, it gives it a lovely flavour. Now, talking about our barnitzer, come on off you go, Charlie. He particularly likes the kitchen, like all dogs do. Okay, he's waiting to see if there's some coming his way. Now, this is our barnitzer. Now, can we just put that light on there? Okay, as you can see, it's got a really nice topping to it. It's really hot and lovely. Okay, now I'm just going to use my oven gloves to put this up. All we do is we just click it into quarters. Okay, just loosen it up around the edges. Now, as you can see, I've got a plate already ready. We've got courgettes that we had on the barbecue last night and we've got some lovely what they call snow salad here. It's just a, a nice thick yoghurt like a Greek yoghurt with again a little bit of dill, a little bit of cucumber and it just has a really creamy texture with what you've got on in here. Okay. So all you do is take your little piece of barnets around. Okay, and I'll just put that nicely on the side, put a little sprig of this on the top, and there you are. That's Bulgarian Barnitzer.